Hi guys, I've put together a little presentation for us, introduced myself a little, as well as our class. So here's why I'm your teacher, as well as letting you know that I'm the biggest fans of my two sons. So my family, my husband and I have been married for 29 years as of this year. He's deployed at the moment, but hopefully he'll be back by the time our class starts. My son, oldest son is Zach, and he's an ECU graduate, and he's getting married 12-2020 to my little Ellie there. And my son Riley is a Southview grad. He was playing baseball for Methodist, but just transferred to Fayetteville Tech to play there and save his mom and dad some money. Classes, you can see I've taught a little bit of everything all the way from English 1 to adults. Our class this semester will be English 3 and English 3 Honors. Be on time and prepared. Last semester, the end, we were all trying to figure out what was going on. This semester, we're a little better about it, so we need you to be on time, and you need to be on camera because we are going to be chatting and discussing. I do not like lecturing. I like for us as a class to discuss whatever we've studied. Grades, tests, and research paper drafts will be 40%. Classwork and homework will be 30%. Quizzes and research other than drafts are 30%. That means that we're writing the research paper step by step, and each one of those steps or just practice to get to the final paper. So those won't count as much as the 40% research paper will. And we are still on a 10 point grading scale. Materials, these will be all the materials we require if we do meet in class. You may use them now at home, but as you've seen, everything will be submitted electronically. Research, it's just the practice paper. So those of you who think we expect you to know what you're doing, no, we're going to show you how to do that. So if you have older siblings and they're laughing because you have to write the senior project, you can laugh instead because that's the thing of the past. You will be picking an interesting issue, a persuasive issue, and you're going to prove three reasons why you're right. Make sure it is interesting, not something you think is easy. If you think it's easy, a lot of times you're going to have to spend more time trying to figure out how to make it better. Where if it's interesting, time flies because you like what you're researching. Not all three classes are doing the same, but we are all writing papers. And late submissions are not going to be graded on the same scale as those on time. We're trying to get you guys geared up for your senior year, your college years, and your adult careers. American literature, my favorite, the best writers in the world, and I do think your teachers should love what they teach. Starters, these are going to be our practices. And it's going to be anything from ACT to grammar to writing and maybe just checking in on you because we do still need to check in on each other in this new world that we're in right now. Tiger tickets. I love rewarding good work. And the way you can use that, 10 tickets will give you five points on a quiz or test. 20 tickets will replace the homework. And that's for those of you who have a job, who are having to watch your siblings, or who may just forget. Because you've been a good student and you've banked up all of these points or tickets, this is where you can use those. And you may use 40 per quarter. Tigers for Christ, I'm the advisor for this club. We discuss topics of faith as well as worldly topics, not religion. Religion is a bad word. That means just the rules. This is the faith, more of the belief and the caring for people. It's non-denominational, so believers and non-believers are welcome. We had an atheist for two years, and she was just there to check out and see what was going on. Anyone is welcome. You do not need to be a Bible specialist. Some people thought they need to be devout worshipers. That's not the case. And we eat great food when we get to meet in person. And hopefully that will be soon. That's the end for now. So I will see you Monday.